Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes, but loves front end development. In today's video, I want to share with you 13 or 14 keyboard shortcuts that I use every day or I'm trying to memorize. So if you are curious, keep watching. The first two commands are related to navigating between windows of a VS Code and different files. So command and tilde will switch you between different projects. And if you want to navigate between files within VS Code, then command shift and opening or closing square bracket, you will uh, rotate or move to the next or previous file. Very quick way how to navigate between projects and files. Another two commands that are similar to Google Chrome and other programs is command and W that will close the current tab. And if you want to open it, and this happens to me all the time, then I go back, find the file, open it again, but command shift and T will reopen the last closed tab. Now let's go to the page component and you're probably familiar with the command and a D to select multiple appearances of the same word, but there's even quicker way how to select all of them. That would be command shift and L that in one keyboard shortcut selects all the appearances of that word and you don't have to manually do it as many times until you hit all of the pages in this example. Okay, the other way how you can of course rename one component and that will rename it across multiple files is the F2. Now if I hit shift and enter, I will only preview the change. Here it shows me all the files that this will be replaced in. I can either confirm it or discard it. Okay, so if I confirm it, you'll see that both of these files were changed. Okay, so that is the command D to select multiple, command shift and L to select all of them and F2 to rename, that renames it across multiple files. The next one is a shortcut that I always go for into the main menu. So command shift and P and search word wrap. And this will toggle word wrap on and off. And the shortcut for it, as you can see, is alt and Z. Okay, so let's create a new paragraph. Add a lorem 200 inside of it. And now when I press Alt and Z, I can toggle the word wrap on and off. So this is one of the keyboard shortcuts that I completely forget all the time and go to the main menu and search for it. So I'm trying to memorize Alt Z to get the word wrapping on and off quickly. Now let's go under the paragraph and create another list with a list item. And here could be some text, doesn't really matter. Of course, I can press the Alt Shift to drag it down to duplicate it or Alt Shift and up to duplicate it the other way. But also sometimes I'm editing the text and I want to just go outside of this tag without breaking it or without manually going to the end and wrapping it like this with Enter. But there is a shorter way anywhere in between the tags you are and press Command and Enter, you automatically go outside of it. And if you want to go the other way to the line above it, Command, Shift and Enter will get you to the other side. Okay, so these are two commands that I've actually discovered recently and uh, they are very handy. Command, Enter to go to the next line without breaking it or Command, Shift and Enter to go up. Now let's have a look how VS Code helps you to remove some of the unused variables. Here I have the set number function that is declared but never used. If I click on it and hit Command and Dot, I have two options. So this is a quick tip how to fix this. Remove unused declaration for this function. And if I use the other option and delete all unused declaration in this file, then it would remove the number as well. Okay, so the same thing applies if I delete the state. Now you see that the import has a use state, but it's never used. Also, if I click on it and remove this unused declaration, then it removes the brackets and the comma as well. So very handy how to keep your components clean of unused declarations. Now that we have removed the state, we can remove the statement. We can remove the return statement and I can select the brackets, replace it like this, or there is even a quicker way that VS Code can help us with. If I hit Command, Shift and R, I can click on the remove braces from arrow function that will do it for me. Okay, so simple way how you can keep 
things clean when you need them. In the other card component, it would be the same if I right click and go to refactor or hit the command shift and R, remove braces from the arrow, it does the same thing. Okay, so cleans it up, cleans up the return statement. And of course, some projects might need to go the other way and you might need to introduce state into functional component. And again, if you hit command shift and R and click add braces to arrow function, it does the opposite. So that's a handy way how you can use the refactoring to add or remove braces from arrow functions. Now, before we wrap it up, two things. If you are on PC and you know how some of these shortcuts relate to a PC users, it would be fantastic. I've done a video on this three years ago and in the comments was a lot of this is Mac specific. So I'll make sure in the title of this video, it's clear that it is for Mac. But if you are on PC and if you could in the comment, just leave how it translate to PC, then that would be fantastic. And if you enjoyed the video, of course, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.